Hello Red Bags, it's Joe Plays Games. Welcome back to another brand new game. I've been in so many of these lately. Now, every Saturday I normally do a simulation game or a world building game. But you know what? I've brought this one forward because it is launching today. So we'll take a look at Avon Colony. It's available on Xbox, PS4. Not too sure about Steam. Welcome to the Avon Expedition. As the governor of humanity's first colony outside the solar system, it's no exaggeration to say that the future of human civilization is in your hands. We've been in orbit for 300 hours since reaching Avon Prime, so no doubt you've had plenty of time to review the mission briefing. You'll be touching down on Vanar, which is the closest thing Avon Prime has to planet Earth. There's a great deal of plant life here, but don't be fooled. The atmosphere is primarily carbon dioxide, so we'll need to keep the colony hermetically sealed. We have a small settlement here, and you will assume command upon touchdown. There are no signs of intelligent life so far, but do keep an eye out. Your mission coordinator will be Vori Markov. She and I will be monitoring your progress closely from the colony ship. Good luck, Governor. Right, well, there we go. What an intro. Um, they clearly don't know how to the Avon bad I am at looking after As people's creatures. First Let alone put me in charge of a colony. The they're all, they're all going to die. It's all of them. No exaggeration to say that the um, there's quite a few maps which I like to look off as well. Civilization is in your hands. We've been in orbit for 300 hours since reaching Avon. Right, Prime. let's try it. Let's try what it's all about. Okay, so it's pretty standard. You know, it's a world builder. We're going to be managing our colony at our sort of, I don't know, mix between... No, you know what? I'm not going to compare it to any other games. I've been doing that a lot lately. I think it's the natural reaction whenever you get a new game is to go, oh yeah, it's like that. But I'm not going to do it. We're not going to do that. What I will say is, I like the look of it so far. I've already just like a little bit impressed. Nice little alien world. The controls seem okay for console. I was really disappointed not to get hold of a copy of City Skylines on console. I really wanted to try that one out, but this is looking... This is looking alright. Okay, so I've done all that. There you go. So you can look around and then you can spin around. That's pretty cool. Left and right to rotate camera. Yeah, we got that. We got it. We got it. Oh, and that's our colony. So yeah, if we get lost or we're looking at anything else, just clap that. Yeah, job done. Nanites are self-assembling carbon metallic nanostructures. Okay. So let's press the damn button though. So these are our nanites. These are what are going to build everything for us. Open the building menu and choose a mine under mining. Place the mine directly on top of the iron deposit. Okay, so that's iron deposits, are they? Let's zoom in a little bit, get a better look. Okay, so we've got that one. Building menu. Mining tier needs 15 nanites. Requires 10 power, 10 workers. Okay. So we've got to provide power for it once we do it. Okay, so we're just going to fast forward it a little bit, let it actually play. And then the tutorial says to let it run very quickly. And then super duper quickly. So we want the seasons bar now. Okay, so that's the seasons. I'll take it time. So has got low oxygen, so that needs to be sealed. Okay. So we'll use air tunnels instead of roads. Okay, we can do that then. So let's build the tunnels. So there's the tunnels. Oh, I'm gonna just build ourselves a nice little, a nice little walkway. Okay, cool. Right, so we just place it there. Click and drag to paint multiple walkways to life. Job done. Bang tidy. And again, we can quickly simulate it, and they will do their job much quicker. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, look, you can like zoom right in. You can see the little people in their little, in their little space bubbles. No total recall business here with the uh, the glass being blown out. Hopefully, okay, we're gonna add some electricity. Let's get some juice on the go. All structures of the colony if produce or consume electricity. Electricity is automatically distributed through all connected structures. Tunnels are an ex inexpensive way to distribute electricity. Oh, crikey, I didn't get a chance to read all that. Uh, if you turn, if your electricity supply dips below demand, buildings will be automatically shut off until balance is restored. Start with the most distant buildings from any power source. When a build, oh my god, okay, well, it's super duper quick. <laughs> we'll get the idea though. Open a building menu and choose uh, 
Electricity. Okay, yeah. Place the solar panel at the marker. Okay, so that's the solar panel we want. That one. Oh no, it wants it there. Okay, right. Okay, there we go. There we go. Right, we've got it now. Okay, so we've got our solar panel. Cool. So that's giving us loads of electricity. Oh yeah, we've got two more solar panels in the middle there. Okay, I can see that now. So we've got population. Okay, let's take a look at the population then. So we've got 16 space weebles. No way. Oh, so it's exactly like um, life is feudal. You can take a look at an individual person. That's pretty cool. Let's slow it down a little bit so I can actually find a, a colonist. Oh, well, I've just got to wait, have I? Our next camera. There we go. Hello. Pleased to meet you, Governor. Pleased to meet you, Governor. <laughs> I need to do it in a Cockney accent. Uh, well, my, my accent, but even stronger. Oh, okay, that's the end of the tutorial. I felt like that was proper timed. That was like, bosh, bosh. If you haven't read this by now, you'll never, you'll never learn this. That was it. Job done. Okay. Well, you know what? I can't complain. Most tutorials are really... Like bloated, and that was pretty. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, this place don't look as nice. So we're going to build some more tunnels. Okay, but they've got to be able to get to the farm where there's some actual greenery. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I can roll that. Okay, so kind of does it, I think, intuitively for you. So as long as I do that, oh no, I've gone too far though. How can I um, delete one? Oh, you can ch change the priority of construction to low, medium, high. Cool. Can I get rid of a piece? And like, well, open a building menu, choose farm structures and farm. Okay, so obviously lots of seeds. Farm tier one. Okay, so it needs five power. And it costs nine. Oh, okay, so you've got a proper grid system. Nice, nice, nice. This is what I'm, this is the kind of build I've, I fancied. Life is feudal is okay. But it felt like I was just there just to grow crops and that was it, just make farmlands. But this, I like the idea, you know, it already looks a bit more layered, although I'm growing food. It still looks like there's a lot more to it. Right, cycle through crops. Oh, okay, not a connected colony, up to four hours for barley, eight hours broccoli, <laughs> four hours corn. Okay, quite a few. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna go for the corn now, because apparently that's what that's what they said. So we'll let them finish it off quickly. And there we go. There is our little farm. Yeah, we've got food going on. Got like workers. I like the style, I really like the style. It's pretty cool. Right, overlay menu. Employment overlay. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Much more in depth, where you really got to check lots of different things and what's going on in your your world. Okay, so there's the employment overlay. What does it actually show? Between colonists, habitants, and a place of employment across the colony. Oh, that's where the father got to get to work. Oh, so quick. Let's tell our farm it needs lots of workers. Select the farm and change its work priority to fill. It may take works from other jobs with a low priority. Okay. I think... Oh, man. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I really liked Revolution. Civilization Revolution. Um, and I've always wanted to play Sim City games. Okay, so we're going to ration the food out a little bit now. Right, let's press LT. Let's go to the colony control. And then we'll go to resources. And... Have I done the right thing? No, powers and policies tab. Oh man, there's so many. Rationing. Oh, so you just click it. So you just do it once. Okay, so you can, that's pretty simple as well. You're not gonna get too bogged down in sliders. Oh mate, that is it, that is the tour. That is like the world's barest bone tutorial. I'm loving it. Obviously it's given you the idea, but yeah, I like the idea of playing around and trying to get to know it. Okay, we've got a new mission available. Let's, let's read the mission, shall we? Build a water pump and place it next to your base. Okay, right, we'll do that one. Reward 30 nerds. Okay. So, there's the water pump. Okay. I've just forgotten everything the tutorial told me. I ain't lying. 
Okay, there we go. We've got the build. We've got the build moving. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I can do this. Well, they're all mines. Okay, so we don't want, we don't want the mines. Water extraction. There we go. Water pump. Bang. Okay. So it has to be connected to one of these little grids before you can place it. Okay. Um, okay, so we want it relatively close. Obviously, it doesn't go in there. Okay. Well, there's water here as well. I don't know what. Uh, yeah, I'm automatically going over that side, but I could just go here, couldn't I? Or maybe it doesn't need to actually be near water. Abundant water, abundant water, no water. I'm not really seeing anything where it says, like, it's going to be no water. Yeah, but we'll have it here. I'm sure it's not going to be too much hassle to build some tunnels. Okay, job done. So while they're building that, I'll get on and build our tunnels. Yeah. Good idea. Good idea, that man. Oh, perfect. That's, that's it. I like that. I like it. It just connects it up nicely, automatically as well. What's this way, but I Hello. Got the cameras. No one around, they're all sleeping. Lazy space heads. Been eating that space cake, they're all just mooching about. What's this? Insufficient power, okay. Okay, right, so we need to we need to put the power up. Okay, right. Um power, give me the juice. I need more juice! Got the wind turbine, we've got a solar panel. Should we go for a tier 2, tier 1? What's the differences? So you get 8 power, 18, 26. Looks like that one's probably like the best bet then. Because for like 10 more, you get 10 more power. And for 8 more, you get 8 more power. So yeah, the middle one's got to be the best one. And we're, we're going to plonk that. I think we could probably put it right next to it. Oh, the camera angle's a little bit odd. Depending on what, oh yeah, depending on what angle you're looking at. Right, I'm gonna place that there. Yeah, that's okay. So workers can still get into it if they need to. So we've got 13 nanites for completing that task. Okay, cool. We've got a new mission again. Your colony could benefit from a higher level of food output. Adjacent to our thingy. Okay. Right. Boom. Farm. Boom. Oh, greenhouse. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's giving the scale. It's giving the scale. Right, okay, now I'm not understanding. The top right there, I, I was wondering like how it was why it wasn't reactive. But obviously green is gonna give us lots of energy. The red is gonna give us low growth. Yeah, if you understand what I mean. Okay, cool. So yeah, we'll we'll just make that there. Yeah, they're perfect. I think that would be good. And I guess we've got to make more tunnels. Yep. So, that one's nearly done. I presume it's got power now. Yeah, I'm looking at the water. It says minus one on the water though. Did I not put that maybe in a good spot? The food's gone up, but water is still struggling. I may, um, I may look at this again. No unhappy workers, powered on tier one or two, not pumping, not needed. You know what, I'm gonna upgrade it, because I don't think it's doing the job I want. I wanted to remind you that the mission objectives from my team are here only to guide you. Please, do remember that these are- It's gone up marginally, marginally. Oh okay. no, maybe that's probably not the best spot. I've literally just popped it on an entrance way. We'll connect, we'll connect the, uh, what's it blocked? There you go. All that water's a worry. I'm worried about this water. I'm gonna put another water well done. Yeah, let's 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 get some more water. I don't think I'll put that in the best spot. So it's gotta be somewhere else where we can get more water. So that's quite dark there. Yeah, we'll go 
going for the tunnel, so I'm just going straight there like that. Bosh. Yeah, you, you're gonna work. Do I need to put electricity on it? As well? Is that a thing? So there we go guys, the first 15 minutes or so of Avon Colony. I hope you enjoyed that, it's a bit different for me, like I said I do this once a week, or I try to do this once a week where I show a different sort of game like this. I'm really enjoying this, I spent about two and a half hours, that is unheard of for me, playing a brand new game. So expect to see some more episodes very, very soon, bye bye.